you were about 20 when you when you started your political and your spiritual seemed to parallel each other mm -hmm. in a very symbiotic way. So a lot of time when you think about women's empowerment or feminism, mm -hmm. the the picture, the snapshot is the burning the bras, it is <laughs> the petitions, it is the holding the signs, but yours, while it may have included that, also included the spiritual aspect of activism. And it's all in all activism, whether mm -hmm. it was you know global justice, women's rights, earth activism, all of it. Did you find that it was easy to find other people along that? You yeah. know what I mean? Like uh -huh. they were also merging both their spiritual feeling of responsibility as well as their activism, yeah, and political responsibility. Yeah, I've always found that it's not that hard to find kind of companions on the journey. Uh -huh. right? who saw that a spirituality that says we are all part of the goddess and we are all part of nature uh, means that you can't just sit back and let idiots destroy the life support systems of the planet. Yes. That part of our spiritual journey and work is to be active and to do something, uh, to interrupt oppression when we find it, to really try to make a world and a society that reflects the value that we each have, intrinsic value, that mm -hmm. we each are uh, a goddess in ourselves, uh, and a world where we actually cherish nature and cherish those systems that support and sustain our lives. Um, of course, there's always political people who are, don't want to be in spiritual, Mm -hmm. um, because they see it as a distraction or as forcing you to believe things that aren't really true. Uh, actually, earth-based spirituality is very little about believing things. It's much more about shifting the way we experience things. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's always those spiritual people who don't want to get involved in anything messy and dirty like politics. Right. What is the benefit uh, of doing both? I think the benefit of doing both, if you're an activist, it's really very, very helpful to have a spiritual community that supports you, mm -hmm. to have a spiritual base, because activism is really hard. <laughs> it's often <laughs> discouraging. It's often you don't see immediate rewards. It's hard to quantify how effective you've been. Uh, very rarely do you go out and wave a sign and say no war and the next day the president turns around and says, you know, <laughs> I saw that sign and you're right, let's stop. You and know? all of the leaders yeah, paying right. in agreement with him, yes. That doesn't quite happen that way. So it helps to have a community of people who can support you and help you develop ways to sustain your spirit and your hope and your optimism. And on the other side of that, how does it benefit the political side of you to have to um, I'm sorry the spiritual. the spiritual side to have the political influence I think for me spirituality you know a lot of people think spirituality is there for comfort mm -hmm. you know and to make you feel better and sometimes it is and sometimes you just need that but I think a real spiritual path of development is actually about discomfort it's about taking you out of those places where you're comfortable finding your growing edges, which always feel a little bit uncomfortable, and moving forward on them. And again, if your values say that you care about the earth and you care about other human beings, then um, there's a spiritual growth that comes from acting in integrity with your values and standing up for your values.